Hi, hello, welcome to Traveling with Dave. I'm your host, Dave McGowan. And today we're gonna to give vacation tips for everyone. How to travel with a family, what to do, and how to plan that perfect family vacation. And we're gonna do all that right here on Traveling with Dave. Okay, so here are the basics on trying to set up a nice family vacation that everybody has a good time on, that you agree on, and that is fun for the whole family. So the first thing you do is what we used to do when I was a little kid, you know? My family was a very tight-knit family. There were two sisters, one brother, me, my mom and dad, and what we used to do is we used to get together and we talk about what we wanted to do for vacation that year. Now, for us it was a little easy because my brother was a professional baseball player. So every year when it came down to the family vote, the vote was, let's go see Kenny wherever he happens to be playing baseball. But you know, that's not the way it is for most families. So these are the suggestions that I have for that family meeting to set up a vacation that you really want to go on. First thing to do, right after school starts, you're a couple of weeks into the school year, Get the family together, sit down, and talk about where you'd like to go for next year's vacation. Get some ideas. Let all the kids vote, family vote. Let's get some ideas and make sure that you go wherever you really want to go for that big family vacation. Now, once you have four or five locations, the next thing you want to do is call your travel agent. You want to make sure that you can go when you want to go, how you want to go and you want to make sure that it all works within your budget. Once you have that together, then you can move forward on actually planning your vacation. Now the really cool thing about doing this in the fall, right after school starts, is that since you're planning for the following summer, you're going to have the opportunity to be a little bit adjustable on your vacation. If your travel agent says, Hey, if you travel a week earlier or a week later, you can save a lot of money. Well, you're going to be able to do that if you're planning your vacation uh, in that, you know, early fall time period, because you'll have an opportunity to put in for vacations. You'll be able to adjust your vacation time accordingly and all of that. So that works really well. Once you've talked to your travel agent, once you have some definite places that you can go that are part of your list, now you need to have that family meeting again and say, okay, we can go here, we can go here, we can go here, what's the vote? Who wants to go, who wants to go where? Once you've chosen the place to go, the next thing to do, call your travel agent, line up the deal, make sure that you have everything laid out that you wanna do. Now this is where it's really important for your travel agent to do that planning for you because your travel agent should tell you what you need for paperwork, they should tell you uh, what you need for money, what you should plan on, and they should also be able to get you everything you need to go on that vacation. So if you're going to Disney World, you want to make sure that your travel agent gets you your hotel, gets you transportation from the airport to your hotel, gets you your airfare to the to Orlando, you want to make sure that they get you the uh, admission to Disney World. They want You want to make sure that they get you the magic bands. You want to make sure that they explain the dining packages to you. You want to make sure that you have everything prepared well in advance of the time you go. It's the easiest way to budget. It's the easiest way to save money for it. Now, the next thing you have to do is get your paperwork in order. And when I say that, what I mean is if you're traveling outside of the United States, you have to have a passport. You may need to have a visa. You may need to have a vaccination certificate. I know that several years ago I went to South America and I had to have a yellow fever certificate. But again, make sure your, your travel agent tells you exactly what you need to travel so that you never have to worry about what you're buying and what you're doing to travel. You have everything together. Now the next thing you have to do is you have to get your relationships in order. 
And when I say that, I just mean that you have to explain to your kids, you have to get together with your, with your significant other, and you have to make sure that you have everything together for that trip. You're in agreement, you've got everything laid out so that people aren't complaining and whining and moaning and groaning over the whole trip because it ruins the trip for everyone. So make sure that that's together. The other thing is you have to make sure that you are mindful of what you're getting ready to do on vacation and you are ready for everything that's happening. Now, you're going to start packing about seven days before your trip. When you start packing, go to my What to Bring With You packing video and you're going to find all of the things that you need to have and all of the preparation that you need to make when you're starting to pack. You're going to finish packing the day before you leave. And then you're gonna go and you're gonna have fun. And that's the best idea. Have a great time, go on that vacation, enjoy yourself. And if you follow all of those planning tips, you're gonna be able to have a fantastic time on vacation. So, this is Dave at Traveling with Dave. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell that gets you notification all the time. Please hit the like button too. If you do all that, what it does is it lets other people see my videos and it makes me more and more popular, which is really what I need to do in order to have these videos be worthwhile to make. So thank you very, very much in advance. Please do all that stuff. And until later, I'll see you on vacation.